students and all the viewers. So it's me, Indramari Gewali, your math teacher for grade nine. It's compulsory mathematics I'm taking today. So I would like to welcome you all in my today's first class of grade nine compulsory mathematics for distance learning. So based on government syllabus, based on government curriculum of Nepal, so we will be discussing today first unit of grade 9 compulsory mathematics set. So we can have a short look in the board. So I have clearly mentioned here it's grade 9 compulsory math and topic for today's class is sets. So for today in the beginning of class in the very beginning of beginning of the class I will be discussing about the basic concept of set under that topic I am going to talk about <coughs> what is set, what are set operations, what are different types of sets and what is the cardinality of a set. So we know I have got a limited time so if I get enough time for today's class I will also try to catch a Venn diagram and different set notations different formulas I will try to write different formulas in terms of set notation by means of Venn diagram so before that so let me display a slide let's have a short look in the slide and you can see what are the today's topic for discussion let's have us look in the slide okay okay so let me read out some informations that I have mentioned over here it's compulsory maths grade 9 first unit first unit of compulsory math is sets so saying this now let me start with what is set okay so I have mentioned the topic on the board so I think I know or I believe it's grade 9 so this topic of set is not new for us you have been learning you have been studying this topic since from lower grade but in the beginning of class I know so I need to revise I need to recall on this different topics of set like what are set operations what are different types of set what is cardinality of a set okay so before I move into this different types of set set operations and cardinality let me define what is set and under this topic after I complete the definition of set I will be giving I shall be giving you some examples that we can face in our daily life or that are related to our real life okay so let's define what is set set is set is the collection collection of well defined objects well defined objects or elements in mathematics so you can see in the screen so I'm in front of you you're watching me so set is the collection of well defined objects or elements so let me encircle a word over here this is well defined now what is the meaning of this what is well defined so this word plays vital role this word is very important in set okay so to make you clear the meaning of well defined in normal normally what is well defined well defined is clearly defined let me take the examples to make you clear what is set so I'm going to take some examples first example I'm taking here okay the even natural number even natural numbers less than eight even natural number less than eight 
can form a set because there are limited number, there are finite numbers, there are fixed number which are even, natural and less than 8. This is the first example I am taking here. So there are other examples, we can take lots of examples, you also can say in your course book, we have learnt in lower classes what can be the examples of set. So second, so I am taking an example that is related to our daily life, that is related to our real life. So the example can be the days of a week, days of a week, days of a week, we know, we all of us know what are the days of a week, how many days are in a week. So there is no chance of getting different answers in the example. This is clearly defined, there are seven days in a week. We know there are seven days in a week, Sunday, Monday and so on. So this can form a set. Similarly, let me tell you what are the other examples? There are many examples we can take under the topic of set and for the examples. Like natural numbers or natural numbers less than 20 or natural numbers less than 8 can be the examples of a set or besides of this there are lots of examples. There are lots of example. Next example of set can be months total number of months or months in a year. So there are 12 months in a year and that also can form a set. So let me talk about now what are the examples that cannot form a set. Okay, so you can guess, you can imagine what are the some examples that cannot form a set. So let me tell you one. I think you have already got the idea, you have already there are examples in your mind, you have set the examples in your mind, let me tell you what are the examples that cannot form a set. So after telling this, I will move into the types of set and we will discuss other topics if I get time for today's class. Okay, so if I talk about who are the most creative person in the world, who are the most top 5 popular person, famous, creative person, most intelligent. So this most intelligent word is not clear. This is not clearly defined. Suppose if I ask some of you or your friends, can you tell me who are the most creative person of Nepal? Can you tell me, can we have a fixed answer from every one of us? No, obviously no, because there is chance of getting different answers because different persons have different opinion on choosing the persons who are most intelligent. So this, these are the examples which cannot form a set, which cannot belong to set. So I hope you are clear on this. Hoping this, let me move into the next topic for today's class. So I discussed what is set. Today is the first class. So I am repeating time and again the same thing. What is set? What are the examples of set that are related to our daily life or that we can see that we can face in our daily life or real life? I gave the examples, I took the examples. Now, let me move into the next slide. Let's have a short look in the slide. Okay, you can see it's review of set. I'm just recalling the topic set. Here are different types of set that we learn in grade 9 2. But these are not so important for us, these are not so important for grade 9 class. Still, let's try to understand what are the types of set, what are the set operations, what is the 
cardinal number of a certain set. Okay, so let me move on to this types of set. Okay, so the topic I'm taking now types of set. So there are various types of set. So I may not discuss, I may not discuss all the types of set, but I will try to discuss some of them because this is not so important topic for us. This is the topic that you have already learned in lower grades. So I'm sure that you are getting me, you are getting my point, what I'm saying to you. So first is I'm taking type of set under this topic. First is empty set or this is also called null. Empty set or null set. Okay, so let's discuss what is this? What is empty set or null set? So before I define this, let me tell you, we denote the set by capital letter in general and set of elements by small letters. We can take the examples from numerical digits. We also can take examples from alphabets. So we denote the set by capital letter. So what is empty set or null set? It's clear from the word. The meaning of empty is clear by the word. It's null. These two are synonym words. What is empty set? A set having no element. If there is no element in a set, this is called empty set and we denote this by bracket. Or we also can denote by a symbol called phi. PHI. So these are the symbols for empty set. Similarly, let me move into the next B number. What is unit? Unit or singleton? Okay, so let me explain now what is unit or singleton set. Again, it's clear from the world. Can you just Imagine what is the meaning of unit. Can you just guess what is the meaning of singleton? Its meaning is if a set contains, if a set consists of only one element, it is called unit set. So let's write example. If set is denoted by A, unit is suppose if there is an element 2. Can you see? what is the set over here unit and it's, it is denoted by A. We can denote by other letters but we use capital letters and it is two. There is a element. There is one element in a set. So this is called unit set or this is called singleton set. So next is let me write in third number. Next is what is finite, finite set. Okay, so third is finite, third is finite set. Okay, it is somehow difficult to understand in comparison to first two types, but I hope everyone can understand from me find the meaning of finite is limited if there are limited number of element present in a set if there are just you can note down in a finite set there are limited number of elements there are finite number of element present so what can be the example if we denote this set by b let's write what are the elements under this you can take any elements it can be any alphabets or numerical digits. Let me take, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here is a fixed number of elements contained in a set. 
there are limited number of elements contained by the set. So this is called finite set. The meaning of finite is limited. There are limited number of elements. So this is called finite. Next, I'm taking the next type is infinite. In infinite set, let me take D number, what is next type? It's okay, so <coughs> infinite set. In infinite set, it's clear from the word infinite. So what is the meaning of infinite? The meaning of infinite is there are unlimited number of elements. The number of elements are unlimited. So it's not like finite. In finite, now what is the main difference of finite and infinite set? The major difference of finite and infinite set is in finite set, there are limited number of elements, but in infinite set, there are unlimited number of elements. So we can take example, if we denote the set by D, if we denote the set by D, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and dot, dot, dot. We do not know what is the last element. We do not know how many elements are present after 6. So this is infinite set, and we call infinite because reason is simply number of elements are unlimited. These are not fixed. Okay, so let me move into the next. I'm discussing, still I'm discussing different types of set. Different types of set. Next, we have equal set, equivalent set, overlapping set, and disjoint set. I believe these are the different types of set we have learned in lower class in grade 8, grade 7 because you have been studying unit set, this topic set from lower grade. But let me tell you, let me define what are other type of sets. Otherwise, you may not understand the exercise until unless we know what is the basic concept what are the types? Basic concept of set. Next, we have equal set. Okay, equal set. In equal set, I can make you clear, I'm sure, I can make you clear what is equal set by taking an example. Because in math, if I just speak and explain in words, I don't think you can understand clearly that's why in every question, I'm trying to take example, I'm trying to pick example to make you clear about each and every topic that I'm discussing in today's class. So what are equal set? Let me take two sets here. A is one, two, five, and seven. Okay, so set B is, I'm taking set B, one, two, five, and seven. Okay, can you guess why I'm taking two sets with the same element? Why I'm taking two sets with the same element? Because the definition of equal set is two or more than two sets are called equal if they have exactly the same element. Same element, exactly same element. So what are the elements of set A? One, two, five, and seven. What are the elements of set B? Same, 1, 2, 5, and 7. So these two sets are said to be equal because they contain same elements, means exactly same. Next, what is equivalent set? What is equivalent set? In equivalent set, we can take different, we can write different elements in two different sets, but their 
cardinal number should be same. So let's see if set A is 1, 2, 3, and 4, and set B is suppose A, B, C, and D. Okay, let's have a look in the examples. First example, first set is A. There are four elements, 1, 2, 3, and 4. In second example, B is a set. What are the elements of set? A, B, C, and D. So here, what is equivalent if the cardinal number or if the total number of elements present in two sets are equal, then two sets are said to be equivalent set. So here, A, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what is the cardinal number of A? N of A is 4. What is the cardinal number of set B? N of B is 4. So I hope you know what is the cardinal number. So I have also got this topic for today's discussion. So let me cover this topic here itself because in equivalent set, you must know, you should understand what is the cardinal number. So the cardinal number of a set is the total number of elements, the total number of elements contained by a set. So can you just look at the example and count? What is the total number of elements? What are the elements of set A? How many elements are present? How many elements are present in set A? Here are four elements, one, two, three, and so to total four elements, so its cardinality is four. What is the cardinality of set B or what is the cardinal number of set B? Four. So this is equivalent because of same cardinal number, same cardinality. Okay, saying this, let's move into next. Next is overlapping. Okay, so let's talk about this now. What is overlapping set? It's clear from the word overlapping. So in overlapping set, what we have to understand in overlapping set is two sets, we can take many sets, but I'm taking two sets. It's easy to understand. Two sets are said to be overlapping set if they have some elements common, if they have at least one element common. Okay, let's take an example. Set A, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Can you just look at the examples and identify what are the common elements in two sets A and B? So here, the common elements of two sets are 4 is common, 4 is common, 6 is also common in set A and B. So these two are the common elements and such type of sets are called overlapping set. Okay. Last, we have disjoint set. Let me tell you what is disjoint. Okay, so what is <coughs> disjoint set? So I guess you can understand this from the word dis and joint. So there is no relation, there is no connection between the two sets in this joint. So you may have question, what can be the examples? What can be the examples of this chain set? Okay, so I'm taking a set P. P is suppose A, B, C, D, and E. Let's write, let's take another set Q. Q is so one, two, three, four. For this chain set, for this chain set elements of two different set 
cannot be common. So here are no common elements in set P and Q. So what are the elements of P, A, B, C, D and E? What are the elements of set Q 1, 2, 3 and 4? Is there any element common? Is there any element common in two sets A and P and Q? No. So there are no elements common and we call this type of sets are disjoint. Okay, so this is all about types of set that I discussed in first class of math today. I hope you got my point. So I clear on this. After completion of this, now let me again tell you, let me again tell you what is the cardinal number or what is the cardinality of a set. Though I already discussed on this, let me explain it again. What is cardinal number? What is cardinal number of a set? Cardinal number of a set. The cardinal number of a set is the total number of elements contained by the set. Let's take an example. Example first, if I denote set by P, I am writing the elements A, B, C, D and E. These are the <coughs> elements of set P. So can we count how many elements are present here? Can we count what are the elements here? So what are the total number of elements? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So what is the cardinal number? N of P is 5. Here, what is the meaning of N? N means the number of elements present or cardinal cardinality of a set, number of elements present. Okay, saying this, we know the time is limited for every class. So time given for my class is about to over. So I'm at the end of the class. So let me just recall what did we discussed today. So today, based on the government syllabus, we started from the first unit of compulsory mathematics, which is set. And I discussed, I recalled what is set, what can be the examples of set, what are the examples that we can space that are related to our daily life in our daily life. I talked about this and we also discussed about different types of set like unit set, empty set, singleton set, overlapping and so on. There are many I discussed on this. I also talked about what is the cardinality of set. So this is all for today's class. Thank you all for being with me. Now we will meet in next class on Sunday. So we will have, we have maths class twice in a week, Sunday and Friday, the same time. So thank you all for being with me and have a nice day ahead. Thank you all and stay safe. दूर शिक्षा संचार सूचना र मनोरंजन को मात्र न भाई शिक्षा को माध्यम पनी हो हर में संभव था विद्यालय को पढ़ाई टेलीविजन में आउन होन था शिक्षक हरू जनता टेलीविजन र पैप्सन को सहकार्य में संचालित कार्यक्रम पैप्सन दूर शिक्षा कक्षा सात देखी दस समका विद्यार्थी हरुलाई नेपाली अंग्रेजी गणित विज्ञान तथा सामाजिक शिक्षा को पढ़ाई जनता टेलीविजन में हर एक दिन 